Hey guys, Paul Upper here, the sniper with the skills, and welcome back to Overtime. In the last episode, we met Tavish de Groot, aka the Demo Man, on Red Team. And this guy. Hey there, oh sorry, can't let you go through here. Apparently, there's a criminal on loose. See, my friends and I are mercenaries, and we want to kill the criminal for the, like, extra cash. There was a whole wanted poster and everything. Problem? Never saw it. Someone ripped all the posters off the wall before I could see them. Personally, I have no idea who the so-called criminal even looks like, so I'm just waiting here until my friends spot them, then I'll jump into action. I forget what he's actually from, but, um, people have taken, I believe it was the soldier's model, and put ski masks over them. It was, it was like that. So pretty much the soldier's body, but, and with ski masks, and they were like a generic mercenary model. Hosp. Uh, there's blood on those things. Now, I'm, I'm really excited because I have, behind the sink is a pin board full of sketches. Looks like schematics of a futuristic house made out of cybernetic bricks. Apparently, they are called cybricks. There's another schematic of the house falling apart. Seems the cybricks weren't very useful after all. I am... That reference fell apart. An operating table behind various hoppers on the human body machines. Seems like they have, never, they have been neither cleaned nor sharpened for a long time. It's a fridge for storing body parts. Oh, there's the reference. You wonder if the light stays on when the fridge is shut, but you'll never find out unless your head was inside the fridge. Blue Spy's head will get you out of there. But this... What? They made him alpha-sized. Oh. Mein Gott. It's you, you're finally here. And what a fine specimen you are. Well, bone structure's a bit weak, your eyes are obviously too. Hehe, <laughs> you must be very confused, aren't you? Hello, I am Eli. I am the doctor of this hospital. I treat all of the mercenaries around here. For free, of course, helping people to fight is all I want. And you, I've heard so much about you already. The way you fight, the, it's interesting to say it the least. In fact, could you help me with a small experiment? Do you see that machine over there? Not only does it heal people, but when I flip a switch, it increases all the damage of that person by three times. The healing is only as rewarding as the hurting. <laughs> Come, let's try it out, shall we? Uh-oh. It's time. For whoever it is. I, do, I genuinely do not know, and I'm gonna freak out. Did you hear something as well? Please, please, please. Oh, nine. Oh, yes! I'm bringing the party to you because I am the party. Now, please be who I think it is. <gasps> Hello, Dispensomatic. Hey there, Doc. Did you miss me? Like a festering sore. Ah, oh, Doc, you're always a good pally. But more importantly, who is this beauty over here? I'm not even talking about me this time. Oh wait, I remember you from Thunder Mountain. When I first laid my eyes on you, I immediately fell in love with you. So I know this may be hard, for, too much for you to handle, but would you want to date with me, dearest sunshine? Oh nine, I saw enough heavy metal to know where this is going. Spencer, would you be so kind and get lost? We're in the middle of something here. Wait, aren't you already on a date with him? Oh no, sweet cheeks, he's nowhere as near as good as I am. Seems I ought to prove myself to you. Nine, 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 nine. I finally get a new guinea pig. I mean, guest. Uh oh. And you ruin everything again. Get out of my sight, you doom cough. Or do I have to press the button of immense suffering again? All right, all right. Jeez, Doc, you could be a little nicer to me. I just found true love. Fine, I'm leaving. But I'll see you around, sunshine. Uh, he's insufferable, isn't he? Let's get back to the experiment. No way, I forgot that I still had some things to take care of. We'll do it later. Oh, wunderbar, you have a cell phone. If you give me your number, I can call you later. Do you want to give me your number? Yes. Danke, I will give you a call whenever I have something to tell you. Ah, today's a good day, isn't it? But for now, I'll be just saying... It's a medical machine that helps killing people within seconds. What a revolution in modern warfare. Are these... Is this... 
Is this... Let's work our way around. It's a shelf full of scientific history books. It's a book full of various movies. Among them are Frankenstein and Metropolis. A painting of a man pouring oil into a pool of water. No one ever knew... No one ever drew on this drawer. But there's no... Okay, there we go. It's a bookshelf. It's a shelf full of old books on pet care for doves. Aw. Is this what I think it is? Oh, please be a lamp. I think it's a lamp. I hope it's a lamp. I really hope that's a lamp. Eli's diary. Take me just a tiny look. It's from yesterday. A success at last. After many tries, my invention is finally starting to work. I'm going to scrap all the other experiments very soon. Why well, continue working on failures when I already finished my magnum opus? The machine only seems to work if the other part is also present. Unfortunately, that is where his notes end. So yeah, I will be forced to figure out a solution on my own. In the meantime, I need someone with the part in them to test it. And I know just the person for the job. Yes. Oh yes, this would be perfect. The desire ends here. I am very concerned about this bucket. Oh, what's the note say? Eli MD. Broom closet. Okay. Welcome to the under over. Uh, welcome to the overtime equivalent of a little area called Hotlands. Warning: Has this chemical spillage ahead? Do not step on it. It's very sensitive. I'm saying, please do step on it, but make sure you get it on camera. This is gonna be absolutely hilarious. Thank you and have a nice and productive day. This is gonna be like Okay, so ice puzzle. Oh boy, here we go. <gasps> Stanley Parable and X Slacker. X Slacker. Interview. Oh boy, I need to heal. Okay, so that's how you dodge that. Doesn't know where he is, nor who he is. So Stan is Stan Lee from the Stanley Parable. And the reason we can't see his face is because of that. Tell Stan to stop attacking. He considers this as a reasonable demand. Because Stanley is only controlled by the player. To give up. He likes being told what to do and wants to get hired. So we're playing the role of the narrator now. And Stan was happy. You won. You earned 37 Australian. Now. Not that way just yet. Oh, let's see who it is. Let's just talk to this guy. When I get through, just go ahead. No, just kidding. I'm on the hunt for some sort of criminal. Hey, I got an idea. If you see them, send them to me. I'll kill them and we'll all be happy. How does that sound to you? Oh, no. I have no idea what a criminal even looks like. Our leader. Now, if I'm correct, the leader is going to be a guy in with an umbrella. This is Portal Tech now. Great. And is this Lucas? My mom brought me new sneakers for my birthday. I wanted to use them to sneak past these turrets, but they didn't work. I just got shot. What kind of sneakers are these? Stop laughing. I need to get to the hospital. That's terrible. Ring. Hello? So, you must have reached the turrets already. They're not part of my, well, security system. Normally they'd shoot you on sight unless you wore in red clothes. But you're wearing purple or violet, so you might be able to get past them. Do you see the beams? You can walk through. You can walk straight through the orange ones. If you aren't moving through, the turrets will start shooting. The blue ones, however, will won't detect you if you are not moving. If they sense any form of movement, however, it's like a rabid dog, guard dog. Oh, and you can deactivate the turrets by hitting the lever. 
Well, that's all I wanted to say for now. Been great. Whoa. And a reset? Oh, whoops. The ice cold steel of the pipe reminds you of your termination. Hey, I know you. The next slacker that has been following you finally decided to walk up to you. Interview. All right, here's my CV. Are you serious? Yay. Whoops, oh, only one damage? 19 Australian. Who are you? All of this radioactive waste, it's seeping into the groundwater, contaminating all of it. The lakes and the mines were affected the most. When the contaminated water reacts with the minerals in the rocks, it creates fumes that can cause hallucinations. How do I know? Oh, I met a ghost wearing a top hat in the mines. He explained it to me. Wait, did I really? Hmm. Is this a path? <sighs> what did I just find? I see a throne. Looks like someone planted a tree here in this desert. Was it that Habana? No, that's silly, or is it? Hiya! Do you like bread? I do, me like bread a lot. I'm actually a Habana loaf. Yes, happy loaf. Now go eat good bread. 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 Is this teleported bread? It's a Temi reference, because it's supposed to just look like a random pipe. I found the Tem village in the game. A bit late. And now is this a shortcut? Yes, it is. I am loving this. Now, what's next is the real question. <gasps> hey, 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 darling. Oh, wait. I have to get the voice right. Oh, yes. How long has it been since I've seen you? Too long. My heart's been aching for you ever since. And my stomach? Well, it's been aching for food. So I had the incredible idea of cooking for you. What could be more romantic? And you will help me. Oh yeah, you and I will be bound together by doing that. Today's meal will be hot dogs. Tricky food even for a master chef like me. You know what? Because of this, when I'm done filming all this, I'm gonna go grill up a hot dog. I'm not joking, I'm gonna have a hot dog. And maybe I'll take a photo and post it right now in the video. Paul, you're gonna do that. When you're editing, you're gonna put the photo of the hot dog with ketchup on a in a bun on the video, okay? But not with the help, but not with the help of such a lovely lady. It will be easy. I will get the ingredients, and all you have to do is catch them and put them together. Here, use this bowl for it. If you catch enough of them, maybe we'll be able to make one whole hot dog. Well, are you ready, gorgeous? Here we go. Catch up. Check. More hot dogs. Always delicious. Some buns. I think we have to hit green text. On 40. 40, I think we did it. Or is it 50? 
Is it one whole song cycle? Oh my, we did it, beautiful. Oh, what am I saying? Of course, it was all me, but I helped you a lot. And look, we were able to make one whole hot dog. I want you to have it as a keepsake of your adventure. You can also eat it. I'll just put it in the oven. Don't you feel so much closer to me already? Because I certainly do. That was one part of our f of our date. What I mentioned, we're on a date now. Well, I'll see you later for more date-related experiences. Goodbye. Please don't tell me that dog's burnt. Don't tell me that dog's burnt. Yes. I love how there's a fake window. Uh, hello, I just watched all of that. I am so sorry you had to spend more than 10 seconds with him. Don't worry, I'll try to help you with him later. Goodbye for now. The ground suffering under the nuclear waste reminds you of your termination. Another secret, another secret, another secret. Aw, no secret. Oh, new enemy. Please? Uh, Stan. No. No. Um, is it time? Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's time. Hey there, uh. Look, I, you need to get the hell out of here. You kind of get the hell out of here. Like, our leader apparently said, just saw the criminal that we were looking for. Now we're telling everyone to leave because it's going to be a bloodbath. So yeah, uh, just like, just leave for a bit until we're done here. Ah, aha, there's the criminal. We found her. You found her. Oh, found who? The criminal? Like, where? In front of you. You mean her? Yes, of course. Who else would I be talking about? Ah, oh man, this is embarrassing it. My goodness, you two are the biggest idiots I've ever worked with. Halt, criminal. I am 404. And I am, uh... Sturma. <gasps> Sturma! I'm Jar. Or Jer. Jar. Is that Sturma? Together we are the mighty murdering mercenaries. We are hired by Redman Blue Tech to take you down, and we'll bring you to justice. The mighty murdering mercenaries are here to ruin your day. Sturma. Beatbox. You beatbox a little tune. Sturma is impressed, but nothing else happens. Ooh. Sturma seems like he's easily pranked. You try to prank Sturma, but he's paying too much attention to your actions. And so, for those of you that watched my playthrough of Undertale, this music is actually one we did not encounter. For this is one of the one of the uh, donation goal, one of the donations for a custom character in the game, and this is for So Sorry. Distract. You tell Sturma that there's something unbelievably interesting behind him. Oh, behind me. Okay. He can still attack you, don't ask. Frank, you stick a note that says kick me on Sturma's back. I think that says Sturma, which is the ship name for Star and Germa. Frank, me, come here. <laughs> Sturma has a note stuck on his back. Jerry looks very interested in this prank. Invite. You invite Jerry to help you with the prank, and he joyfully kicks Sturma's butt. Oh, oh guys. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's just a prank. You know what? I won't go on like this. Sturma is seriously mad and refuses to work under these conditions. What are you doing? Don't be like that. Jerry is feeling bad because Sturma quit fighting. You eat the hot dog, right? It tastes hot and doggy. Eight thirty three Sturma. What are you doing? Oh man. Oh, 
You won! You earned 45 Australian. Sorry, I had to sing out that little song. You know what? It's over. No, I'm telling you right now. I'm putting my foot down. It's over. It's over! It's over! Sorry, I have to. That's the German reference. What drugs are you on today? Forget it. Forget everything. I'm leaving. Ah, oh, come back here, Sturma. Don't be mad. Sobs. I work with idiots. <laughs> They're all idiots. I give up. Do whatever you want. You want to hire me? Yeah, sure. Why not? I need to lie down for a bit. Aw. No, no, no. We need to save after that. No, that was... That was... Germa. So everyone, actually, that's gonna be it for this episode of Overtime, where we actually found some more Easter egg characters and found the reference this game's equivalent of Temi Village. So, thank you all for watching. My name is Walter Score TF2. Well, snipe with skills. And I will see you later, my fellow Mercs, with another episode of Overtime. Bye.